Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's video, we are going to discuss about the procedural versus declarative knowledge. Okay, so we have discussed uh, about uh, various search techniques in our previous videos. Now we are going to see what are the procedural knowledge techniques and what are declarative knowledge representations, how they can be represented. Okay, so the rules, uh, what are the rules and regulations of the knowledge? Actually, we are going to see now. Okay, so next we are going to see is knowledge about relationships in the world and knowledge about how to solve the problem using the content of the rules that means uh, how the relationships would be there in the knowledge how one thing is related to another thing and how to solve the problem using this content of the rules or the set of the rules all these things we are going to represent by using this procedural and as well as the declarative knowledge so what is the procedural knowledge actually so the control information which is necessary to represent knowledge is called as the procedural knowledge okay so best example is nothing but controlling knowledge controlling information in the uh, concept of the computer programs directions and as well as recipes okay these use uh, this indicates some specific use and some kind of the implementation techniques the programming even you see in the computer programs also they have some implementation techniques but what is the difference between the procedural and declarative knowledge is nothing but the views of knowledge lies in control information resides where the control information resides what are the rules in that way the procedural knowledge and as well as the declarative knowledge can be differentiated okay so procedural knowledge can be directly used to control of information and uh, where the knowledge can be implemented where the control law uh, information can be controlled okay so whereas the declarative knowledge is the different one a light difference is there between these two how these uh, views of knowledge uh, lies in where the control information reside how it is now we are going to see what are the examples of the procedural knowledge now we are going to see man of marcus man of caesar and uh, per person cleopatra and for alex man of x to person of x okay so what is the person of y the knowledge base justifies if any of the following answers that is y is equal to marcus y is equal to caesar or y is equal to cleopatra whatever it is okay you can represent for alex man of x to person of x what is a person of y means it can be anything of the above like a man of marcus we are having a man of marcus man of caesar and person of the cleopatra it can be of anything so such as such kind of the knowledge representation is called as the procedural knowledge here we are implementing the y the value of the y here we are substituting now what is the meaning of declarative knowledge Declarative knowledge normally uh, specified both, uh, but the use of the knowledge uh, to be put is not given. A statement in which knowledge specified, but the use to which that knowledge is to be put is not given. But best example for this kind of the knowledge is universal truths, facts, and as well as the laws. Okay, these are the facts which can stand alone, but not dependent on other knowledge. They can stand alone knowledge. They can declarative sentences, declarative knowledge. Okay, so, so you, to use such kind of the declarative representations, we must have a program that explains what is to do with the knowledge and how. Okay, so they cannot be modifiable. They cannot be stand. They can be standalone statements. They cannot depend upon any other things. They cannot depends upon any other conclusions and all these things. They are standard independent statements like universal truths, facts, and as well as the laws. Best examples for this declarative knowledge is sun rises in the east. The boy name is Rama. For every action, there is equivalent and opposite reaction. That is Newton's third law. All these are the very good examples of the declarative knowledge and as well as the standalone statements. Whereas in the procedural knowledge, you can draw some conclusions, you can use some implementations, you can use some substitutions. Like this, the declarative knowledge and as well as the procedural knowledge can be differentiated. Okay, so this is about the declarative knowledge and as well as the procedural knowledge. And for example, a set of logical assertions can combine with the resolution theorem prover to give the complete program for solving problems. But in some cases, these logical assertions can view as a program rather than the data to a program. We are having some set of the logical statements we are using to prove the resolution for that. But sometimes these can be represented as the declarations or declarative statements. Okay. Hence, these implication statements define the legitimative reasoning paths and automatic assertions provide the starting point of those paths. And these declarative statements are used to use the resolution procedure. 
okay so declarative statements whatever statements are there those statements can also again use it to use the resolution procedure so this is about the declarative knowledge the forever truths and uh, laws and as well as the names person names whereas the procedural knowledge is substitutions implementations and programs are the examples of procedural knowledge and one more thing the procedural knowledge can be uh, impl implemented with the help of some uh, programming uh, languages that is nothing but uh, lisp lisp list instruction programming language it is and the next one is prolog programming classic okay so these two are most widely used programming logic techniques programming languages of the artificial intelligence prolog sorry l o g prolog this is the prolog another kind of the language these two are most widely used programming uh, languages for uh, artificial intelligence one is the recursive and another one is the iterative programming uh, statements so this can these two can be used to implement the procedural knowledge in the artificial intelligence whereas coming to the declarative knowledge it is used to represent the facts universal truths and as well as the laws okay so these are the differences between the procedural and as well as the declarative knowledge in the coming video we talk about the other things if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials thank you one and all